Hi, this is Taylor Libinati, and today I'm going to show you how to draw traffic signs. To start out, uh, I'm going to show you how to draw a stop sign. The stop sign is made up of the octagonal shape with the word stop in the center. Um, to draw an octagon, it's a little weird. The way I go about it is by actually drawing two squares uh, or two rectangles. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle right here and form out a plus sign trying to make both of these rectangles equivalent. Then from there, you can just connect them diagonally. You can see that this is going to be a little too tall, so I'll move that up. And then from that, you have an octagon. And I'll just go ahead and erase those original rectangles, and we're left with the correct shape. And typically a stop sign will also have an inner ring of color. So I'm just going to map that out really quick. And then from there, you can place your text. There we go. And then to make this feel like an actual sign, I'm going to go ahead and draw in the pole, which is just two straight parallel lines that connect into the ground. I can add in some grass. And there's our first sign. Another sign I'm going to show you how to draw is the uh, speed limit sign, which is a rectangular shape. So if you go ahead and just map out that rectangle, however large you want it. And then the corners of that uh, aren't sharp, they're actually curved off, so I'm going to go and draw those in. and then connect them all together. Again, the same concept as a stop sign. I'm just going to uh, outline it on the inside. And then I can start to place the text, which with a speed limit, you have the word speed limit. And then whatever amount you want that to be. And then same as before, giving it whatever kind of base you want. And then for our third sign, we will draw the pedestrian crossing sign, which is a square turned on its side to be a diamond. So I'll just draw a nice square here, roughing out the shape, and then picking exactly where I want it to be. And again, these corners are softened or curved. So go ahead and put those points in. Connect everything up. Now we can start to draw in the actual image, which is a guy walking across the street. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw in the two sidewalk lines. And then I can start to place the guy. His legs fall into the center and then back. And he's leaning forward, and his head is directly center and towards the top of the diamond. So there's his basic shape, and I'm going to give him some thickness now.
<laughs> and there's the basic shape of our pedestrian crossing sign. Extend that down, and you have three traffic signs. This is Taylor Libinati, and this has been How to Draw Traffic Signs.